Hey, Luna. Open two notepads and Visual Studio Code. Opening two notepads and Visual Studio Code for you. We have all likely used Google Assistant or Siri at some point in our lives and they can be incredibly helpful. I can simply say, Hey Google and start speaking whatever I want. However, the issue is that my laptop doesn't have a Google Assistant and I think it would be fun if we build one, something like a computer assistant. So here's the big idea. The main function of our assistant is to listen to the user's command and perform them if it's within its capabilities. Sounds easy right? But to understand how we will achieve this, let's take a closer look. An assistant is like a chat based model which means it needs to be interactive and able to handle follow up questions. Google assistant is also a conversational assistant and I think you know where I am going with this. Because where's chat, there's chat GPT. We will be using chat GPT as the main engine behind our assistant. But how will we make ChatGPT to open websites or desktop applications? By using something known as speech to intent classification. So if you ask ChatGPT to open YouTube, it will say how it is a text based model and it cannot directly open websites, completely understandable. However, our goal is to use ChatGPT as a speech to intent classifier. For example, if we have these three intents open website, open application and get weather forecast and if we ask ChatGPT to open YouTube, it needs to understand the intent behind the command and classify it into one of these three intents. In this case, it would be classified as open website. In addition to classifying the intent, ChatGPT also needs to classify the arguments that the intent accepts. For example, the open website intent accepts the URL argument. So based on the user's input, ChatGPT has to decide which URL to predict. In this case, it was YouTube.com. Now to avoid everything becoming a huge mess, we will make ChatGPT output its responses in JSON format. This way we can easily parse the output and use it within our code. In the backend, we will create a specific function for each intent which will be responsible for actually performing the desired action. For instance, we will have an open website function that uses the web browser module to open websites. That means this function is actually doing the work of opening websites. Here's where the magic happens. Using the data predicted by ChatGPT in JSON, we will determine the intent that it has predicted and choose that intent's function from all these functions. In this case, it would be the open website function. We will also pass all the arguments from the JSON data to the function and just like that when we run this code, it will open YouTube for us. So from a simple two word command open YouTube, we have reached the point where we can actually open YouTube. Crazy. So this was the first image of the computer assistant in my mind and I think if we do exactly as I've said, we can create a working computer assistant. But there's one thing which I'm absolutely not liking, repeatedly referring it to as assistant. It's time to give our assistant a name. As I am absolutely terrible at naming things, it would be a better idea to ask ChatGPT instead. After some back and forth and when it stopped recommending me names like I am in a sci-fi movie, there was this one name that caught my attention, Luna. Let's call our assistant Luna. The first thing which we have to design is how will Luna accept the user's command. As you may already know, most of the assistant are activated by voice, meaning you just need to call their name and they will start listening to you. This is known as weak word detection. Now I previously made a video on this channel on how to create a weak word detector but we won't be using that method because it is not reliable at all. We want a more versatile weak word detection like it should at least have hey google level of accuracy. Of course, internet has many options to train custom weak words. I clicked on the first link which led to me a weak word detector by Pico Voice. So I thought this would be a paid service but it isn't. You can train up to 3 custom weak words for absolutely free. So let's go ahead and enter our weak Word. I tried with the word Luna but it said it is too short so I retried with the phrase hey Luna and this time it worked. So I thought this would take some time but it was instant. It is already saying me click to test hey Luna so let's test it out. Hey Luna. So as you can see it has written hey Luna detected. This means the wake word detection is working exactly as I wanted and as soon as the wake word is detected we have to trigger some kind of action and in our case that action is to start the speech recognition engine. Currently this is working on their website we have to make this work on our local computer. For that let's click on this train button. So it has downloaded this mysterious zip folder. I don't know what this is. So I have to read some documentations to make this work. 
हे लूना ओपन जी मेल एज यू कैन सी इट नाउ वर्क ऑन माई लोकल कंप्यूटर एज सुन एज द वेक वर्ड इज डिटेक्टेड द स्पीच रिकग्निशन इंजन इज एक्टिवेटेड जस्ट टू क्लैरिफाई आई एम नॉट यूजिंग एनी फैंसी ए पी आईज लाइक विस्पर फॉर दिस स्पीच रिकग्निशन इंस्टेड आई एम यूजिंग द वेब स्पीच ए पी आई विच इज बिल्ड इन टू ऑल मॉडर्न ब्राउजर इट वर्क ग्रेट एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट इज दैट इट्स फ्री करेंटली द असिस्टेंट डजेंट रिस्पॉन्ड बिकॉज आई हैव एन कोड एड पार्ट यट The next step is prompt engineering. We need to make ChatGPT to behave like a computer assistant. So I will create a nice pre-prompt to condition ChatGPT into thinking like it's a computer assistant. Fortunately, this should be the most easiest part of the video. I initially thought this would be a piece of cake. I thought I could just throw all the information at ChatGPT and it would work exactly as I wanted. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. I tried again with more detailed prompts hoping that ChatGPT would listen to me. However, it often forgets my instruction to output only in JSON format and adds extra text alongside the JSON. This completely messes up my application because now I can't parse the JSON properly. Who would have thought that making ChatGPT output JSON would be so challenging? So for all these days I've been doing the same thing over and over i keep changing the prompts and tweaking it to catch any errors so it wasn't just prompt engineering that took up all my time i was also working on the user interface of our assistant i must admit i am not very good at front end design so please don't judge my design choices i know the colors i used are very lame long story short after several days of experimenting with the prompt i finally found one that actually works as you can see if i ask luna to open notepad it outputs json with the predicted intent of open application with this json i can trigger the open application function and it will hopefully open the notepad so my final prompt includes these three intents open website which open websites open application which opens desktop applications and simulate key press which allows our assistant to use keyboard shortcuts now it can even use keyboard shortcuts like control plus t to open new tabs in a browser this has unlocked so many keyboard shortcuts for our assistant to use i can also add more intents to expand its functionalities but i believe this is it for version 1 so here's the final thing hey luna open youtube enjoy watching your favorite videos on youtube so it has opened youtube for us exactly what we wanted this was a very easy task let's try something slightly harder now hey luna search for machine learning on wikipedia all right no problem at all now let's ask something trickier hey luna open a new document on google docs as you can see it not only opened google docs but also created a new document just as i asked impressive right now let me show you its ability to open desktop applications hey luna open two notepads and visual studio code opening two notepads and visual studio code there you go you. it has opened two notepads and visual studio code this can save some time and i didn't have to press even a single key it can be especially beneficial for people who have trouble using computers for example i can ask my computer is working very slowly i want to see which application is causing this opening task manager to check for application it has opened the task manager for me i never explicitly mentioned the task manager in my question but it somehow understood my problem and provided a solution this feature can be extremely helpful for people who are unfamiliar with such technicalities you can even use it to play songs open random meme pages check the weather or find out the distance between your location to the nearest airport all of this is possible with just these three intents working in the background If you want to experience it for yourself, visit the GitHub repository of Luna, download it and give it a try. I just woke up and discovered that OpenAI has introduced an amazing new feature called function calling. They have fine-tuned ChatGPT to output in JSON format. You can now provide ChatGPT with a list of functions it can call and based on your question, ChatGPT will decide which function to choose to get the job done. This is exactly what I have been trying to achieve in this video. 
at first i was a bit frustrated but then it hit me this function calling ability can take luna to a whole new level i can add countless features without worrying about breaking my prompts because open ai now officially supports it this function calling concept is worthy of its own video so i have decided that part 2 of this video will come in that i will use function calling and make luna multiple times more helpful with tons of capabilities so subscribe if you don't have to miss that and i will be back with an exciting video soon